captain's log. Stardate 192.168.1.1. I have crashed on this strange alien world where I know no one or nothing apart from my crew member here. My half cyborg, half Vulcan science officer, Zetek. Hello, how are you doing? Captain, who are you talking to? Who, my, my, my good friend and buddy Charles the Bush here. Uh, I, I've been on this world for, oh, how long has it been now? Two minutes. Yeah, about about the lifetime. And I, I really need to start making friends. <laughs> okay, so I believe, science officer, we need to do some sciencing, and we also need to get off this planet somehow. Maybe one will lead to the other. Well, we've been, after the crash, we've been given a uh, basic mining drill, and... Uh... Stone furnace. Yeah, yeah, we managed to salvage these from the engine nar shells of our, uh, our our intergalactic spaceship, which obviously wasn't going to get us off this planet anymore. Uh, broke it, broke it down, broke down the warp core so that we can get these uh, these, these burning machines. Uh, we need some. Oh wait, this this way round. We need some wood, I believe. Right, that's what? or a burnable material of some description. Coal is good at that. Oh, we have a coal uh, a whole coal patch here. Look at this. Uh, Sir, so you should make a pick. No, no, I'm going to use this uh, this this little bit of wood that I uh, salvaged uh, out of out of the chest of my dead second officer. It was a, a very unfortunate time. I was staring at him across my captain's across the captain's desk with with my paper opener stuck in his chest. Uh, it was horrific, horrific. Uh, right, I need to do. Oh no, that's your one. <laughs> oh, I finally found the gun button. Now I don't know how to put it away. <laughs> It's gonna go away <laughs> on its own. Now I need another one. Alright, yeah, you are right. I should build a pickaxe. You should, yeah. Logic and uh, planning. It's why I've got you here, science officer. Thank you. We should try and get power sorted soon. Yeah, uh, do we have a water source? We either have one to the north or one to the east. I'm not sure which one would be better. Uh, I'm gonna go put some stone in my actual fernoi. Stone? Uh, not coal. stone coal, yes. <laughs> Fuel sources, something to burn. I'm gonna make a boiler, and uh, where do we want our power supply to be, sir? So I'm looking at the map, and the closest water appears to be this stuff over here, next to Twitchy Forest, uh, which is, of course, what we're gonna name this one here. This is Lake Twitchy. We are already naming the planet, sir. Uh, yeah, we, we've come across the Twitchy Plains uh, the, to Lake Twitchy, next to Twitchy Forest, <laughs> so that we can build the uh, Twitchy Memorial steam generator. <laughs> <laughs> Cap Captain Twitchy, Captain Twitchy, Steam Generator, yes. <laughs> well, of course, then. Uh, uh, I, I think our first job, of course, is to make the Captain Twitchy Memorial Highway that can run from this coal to the to Lake Twitchy. And we'll get right on it. Uh, uh, before that, we should probably sort out for our power supply. We do need a lot of iron for it. Is it iron? I've just picked up a load of the iron plates. What do we need? It's the boiler, right? The uh, boiler steam and... engine. Steam engine. Let's have a look. Here we go. Steam engine. Oh, it's all gears and pipes. That's that's pretty easy. What am I missing? 31. Well, I'm not missing 31, but I need 31. For, for people that don't know, and I'm not sure who hasn't played Factorio at this point, Bear in mind, I only picked it up last week. Um, but if you look at the bottom of the screen that I'm showing you right now, there's a total raw. Uh, amount and that is like the raw materials you need for all of this uh, and we need 31 iron plates and I've got 11 Do you feel okay you keep on talking to yourself? I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Science officer, of course. Why, why would I not be fine? <laughs> uh, let's try and make... I can make a steam engine. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, and we just attach this to the boiler if I remember correctly. Uh, yes. Have you managed? I, I have managed. <laughs> I, I, I'll have you know that I spent at least two weeks in engineering school whilst back at the fleet. Uh, it's a long, long, arduous training process. Uh, top of my class, of course. The, the, the hugest numbers in all the world. Yeah, you would be a captain if that wasn't true. I, of course, of course. Right, now I do actually need... Oh, where is... There, that small small electric poles wood and copper cable these are two things i do not have oh here uh, we shall harvest wood from from uh, twitchy forest <laughs> hey. uh, sir although we have all of this technology already available for us we still don't know how to replant trees uh, I have noticed that our forestry is a little weak um, so I'll just take out some of these 
these uh, stragglers on the outside. Obviously, we need to make this a well-managed forest. We will have no trees outside of the locations that have been prescribed. Uh, <laughs> Um, until that changes, of course. Until, until, of course, the prescription changes, yes. I've noticed that my burning thing is not currently outputting. Let's let's, let's dig some coal. Let's dig some coal. I have a feeling what I should do is actually leave your furnace and mining rig here and take mine to the coal. Uh, you I wouldn't leave the furnace, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe build a box. Uh we do have that technology. We do have the technology of boxes. That That is crazy. Uh, there's one box. We won't need anything more than a wooden box. Oh, wait, no, we can't do that. We need a, a loader, don't we? No, 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 it's fine. Oh, does Just it go we... straight in there? Oh, I've always yeah. put an extra loader in between. Lol. <laughs> no need. Wasteful. Wasteful. <laughs> okay, awesome. Right, that should the, just keep itself ticking over It's now. the same like here. The the It's directly put it in the... It's putting it into the... Yeah, dir direct delivery. As all things should be smooth and easy. <laughs> I will make a uh, offshore pump. Yes, yes. I, I have not collected any um, any copper yet, so that seems like a very good uh, idea. I'm running in the wrong direction. Can you provide this area with power, sir? Ah, uh, yes, I can. Uh, no, what am I missing? Copper. Copper is what. Copper plates. Okay, so I'm going to grab this one. <laughs> I'm going to grab this furnace. I'm going to go over to the copper patch up the top there. I've got a feeling I'm going to need to make a new burning... Or what are they called? Burning miners. Burner miners. Burning miner drill. That's that's what it's called. You do have the ability to... Never mind. I, I, I do indeed have the ability to never mind. It is true. It's uh, part, of my, part of my strict uh, captain's training. When everything is going wrong around me, I've got to be able to keep that smooth, calm, consistent exterior on the go so that all my, all my men can feel that I am the man that should be in charge. You do have experience in this. I uh, ex expen uh, extensive. E expensive, yes. Expensive experience, yes. <laughs> I was going to say expansive, but expensive mm -hmm. experience works. Right, we get some power going from this steam engine, and we're just going to go over here. I haven't quite figured out the way if there's... Like, I saw someone a little while ago on a uh, subspace transmission placing power poles like at their maximum distance whilst just walking along, and I've tried to find out the secret of this, but I haven't been able to do it so far. Uh I know normally you can just kind of like press and hold, but when I do that, I just end up spamming loads of poles next to each other. <laughs> that's that's not what I want. But. The water is almost connected. Hey, the the power is also almost connected. I just need to go get some more copper to extrude into wires and make some make some power poles. Hmm. So you know what what do we call these? I mean, we don't really call them power poles in in here, mainly because almost all our power either comes via the the magic of the pylon, the large metal ones, or we put our wires underground. So <laughs> we don't we don't really have small power poles. <laughs> yeah, they are really small and inefficient for us. We should probably change it as soon as possible. I believe this will take more research, Mr. Science Officer. Well, the research will continue when we have the power. <laughs> okay, power to the coal. Research. I need coal. All right, we'll start with a box, but we're going to move on to uh, conveyor belts pretty quickly. Pretty quickly. Now, I, I am envisioning... envisioning it's, it's not an easy word for me to say. Envisioning in my brain where we need to get all the coal. And I'm seeing this nice, easy route to send coal up here. Now we can use a splitter, if we can make splitters yet, to come off over this way. Uh, splitters are not yet available. Okay, well, we could just power... power our iron. I know it's the furnace that we need the coal for, not so much the actual mining, is it? Okay. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. And we've got this great big space here. This is a good place for a furnace array. Uh, yes. And we do need more furnaces, though. Yeah, uh, for some reason I've decided that hitting stone is the best way. How do I make another one of these electrical ones? Iron uh, plate, need... copper plate. Yep, automation is key to everything, so soon we should probably automate the delivery of coal to the engines and... Uh... I agree wholeheartedly, science officer. I think this should be our number one priority. 
definitely. And also the pathway, so we don't have to run back and forth to everything. Well, so we can run back and forth to everything without it taking so long. Yeah, we need more iron, actually. Many more irons. So I, I'm seeing that we can have a whole line of miners like on this front face here, and then we could have them feeding down to a central furnace area here, which the coal could very happily feed to both. Look at you and your plans. Wow, I bet they spent eight, like six months teaching you that at the college. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that, sir. <laughs> uh, that, that is definitely at least a four-week course in captain's training. I'll tell you that. <laughs> what am I missing for the miner now? Just a few iron bits. Yeah, for the iron we need uh, in total 23 iron plates and 4.5 copper. How do Bam, I can make one. <laughs> How do we get 0.5? Oh, yeah, one wire at least. You get one yeah. wire out of it. But what happens to the other half of the copper plate? That's been consumed by... Ah, so by the actual mining drill. I see, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, my, my brain just kind of hiccup for a bit there. It's the, the pressures of leadership. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> of course. Okay, our power supply is currently stable because we only have one miner. That's good. We're uh, about to have two terrible... Terrible pl pole placement there. Let's go the other way. As a science officer, I'm placing down the the lab. Yep. Or as I like to call it, the science room. <laughs> well, we, you can't really enter it, so. <laughs> uh, the the science dome. The science dome. Science dome. Automation. Hey, nice. We can probably start researching it quickly, uh, and after that, we can get. Uh, the science being produced automatically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that is agreed. That that is should be our first priority. The scanners did show that there was life on this planet. Oh no, so. I, I'm not sure if I'm uh, <laughs> I'm too happy with meeting the native life. Uh, do we do we know if they're friendly? Uh, I'm not sure. I I will take that to to mean that they are obviously friendly and want to go for margaritas. Uh, you can ask them, sir. <laughs> I, I will definitely ask them. I mean, honestly, who doesn't like going out for margaritas? If they are the type of people, I assume they're people, if they are the type of people that don't like margaritas, I'm not sure I want to share a planet with them. Mm. And we will discuss when we find out what we want to do with people we don't want to share a planet with. Of course. Uh, we are producing uh, pollution right now because we are burning coal and... Uh all of that. Ah, uh, but as my ancestors of old said, nothing ever bad came from burning fossil fuels. Wait, 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 wait. There's coal everywhere. Are we science officer. Yes. I have, I have an actual science job for you. <laughs> this coal. What ancient creature did it come from? <laughs> what? What microbe or what? What Probably old plant sort of, life? <laughs> yeah, it's, oh, it is plant life, isn't it? Because the coal comes on 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 our old planet. The coal comes from the old Carboniferous forest that used to exist. Yes, and uh, so that it's probably where it came from. Why it's on the surface, I'm not quite sure. Uh, obviously, this place is uh, geologically active in the extreme, uh, bringing all these all these things to the to the uh, surface. I need many iron. I can make two plates. Woo. Uh, two conveyors, sorry. <laughs> so I, I started putting down this to, to try and make my way towards the copper. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> that would be beneficial. We're, oh. we're also going to need another line that goes off towards the power. Research logistics. Hype. What what comes under logistics? Let's uh, have a look. The splitter. Fast and flexible ways. Yeah, brilliant. We have been on this planet 20 minutes now, and I've not seen hide nor hair of breakfast. I'm, I'm starting to go a little delirious from from lack of lack of glucose. The suit should provide food for you, but in the lake there might be some fish. Ah, ah I would like to go fishing. <laughs> oh, there's one. I see one. Can I can I get it? Oh, I did get it. Five fish. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Can I, can I eat them? How do I? What do I do? I will deposit the fish here in this chest for you. <laughs> what? What can we do with the fish? I, I uh, don't know. Shooting. Fish, uh, the, the, the fish are good for healing you, sir. Okay. If you get hurt by jumping in front of a train or something like that, uh, <laughs> if you survive that, I would uh, never jump in front of a train. A train would jump in front of me. <laughs> 
I, I am the captain. I am exactly where I'm meant to be. That train was obviously in the wrong place. Oh, you started the highway. Wonderful. Most certainly. Look, science officer. I have found the new way of movement. This this is by far the most effective. Oh, oh, wow. It was doing wonderful for me until that moment. To be honest, I really don't know why it would put some servos on those and just power in the entire electric rail by them. It would be amazing. Perpetual motion has been struck here. I have noticed. Yeah. For, for decades, centuries, our our pitiful ancestors said this wasn't possible. Where all we needed to do was use it to move coal. Oh, in fact, speaking of, there's not much coal over here. Uh, F respects sorry tra tradition from my ancestors again uh, <laughs> oh really what tradition is that from <laughs> uh well I, they say it comes from some 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 ancient ancient tradition of to do with war duty of some description i'm not i'm not entirely certain the 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 exact exact origins are lost to the uh, mm. the mists of time <laughs> quite quite interesting sir fascinating his history of is obviously one of my my strong suits. We spent at least a uh, three month semester working on the ancient cultures of our pseudo human race that we are. So, is the production of coal anywhere close to being automated? No. A production uh, of coal, yes. We're we're on our way oh, for the production of copper. Copper. It's completely empty, and I I keep on running up here without any coal. I should. Do I have? So I actually have a full stack. Let me let me run up. I'm not I'm not one for manual work normally, but when when my crew is in need, I will definitely uh, gladly help out. Okay, there we go. That that's. Why thank you. We currently do not have any communications with uh, the outside. <laughs> Communicate. We we not only do we not have communication, but we have of the outside, but we have no way of communicating with anything close to us either. Mm. Yes. So somehow we seem to be able to be in constant voice communication. Well, the suit provides uh, close quarters communication. The wonders of modern technology. Yes. <laughs> if, if only our ancient forebears could have have these little things that sit close to our face and <laughs> allow us to communicate. Those poor Neanderthalic fools. Neanderthalic, yes. That's a word I just made up. We do need more furnaces, so I'm going to... Yeah, we need to start building one of those arrays where we have like a line of furnaces here and then a conveyor at the above, conveyor below. Oh, you're going to just make something making furnaces because that would also be pretty awesome. <laughs> Automate everything. Everything. So, sir, do you want to go and explore and find, try finding the indigenous life forms? I, I would love to see the, the native inhabitants. Let, let's, let's see what we can find here. It will definitely give our systems a chance to play over as well. Yeah, this is also cool. We should oh, have mined wow. this. Oh, wow, we should have mined this and just put that over at the... Co oh, I didn't even realise. And it was on our map the whole time. Yes. <laughs> More fish. Nice. One singular fish in that small lake. <laughs> he is the king of his particular realm. Until we pay you over. Hopefully we find some indigenous life form. Oh, yeah, I'm hoping so as well. I mean, do they even spawn this early? Oh, oh I, I have have located. Oh, you have located as well. I'm going to come up to you. Oh, mine's actually a big place. <laughs> I would not suggest going near them. We don't have any firepower to deal with them. Not really. Oh, there, there they are. I can see, see their little abodes there. Oh, that's disgusting. Pulsating. Oh, no, I got oh. too close. I got oh. too close. <laughs> How do I fire? Space bar. <laughs> Space bar. No, there we go. <laughs> I seem to be bad at this bit. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> eat your fish, Captain. There we, there eat we your go. fish. There we go, okay. <laughs> do you have your fish with I you? Do ha oh, yes, I do have my fish with me. Uh, how do I eat my fish? I tried doing this earlier. Is it just click oh. on me, right? And it's yeah, your there kills. we go. There we go, brilliant. Man, I, I had two two fishy meals there. I feel well stocked. Just just as uh, evening is coming on, I have a had a good dinner. <laughs> that was obviously uh, important. So we know that the indigenous are actually very hostile. It turns out, and I'm not sure I want to spend my life with a bunch of hostile natives just on our border. We shall have to try and figure out a way to pacify these creatures. Um, I mean, obviously diplomacy would have been the best option, but I just don't think they're going to listen to us. I don't and think we can get through stuck that in forest. A forest. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that is one dense forest right there. Okay, cool. We're three. <laughs>
sir, if you do have the materials, you can develop some science packages and put them into the... the the, yeah, the thing. Uh, the thing, of course, being the science lab. <laughs> yes. The word thing obviously being the one I wanted to use there. Fifteen of them, actually. I think that would be enough to raise the logistics. Oh, yeah. Well, we are just about to top out on it, so that's pretty good. Just making those gears, though. Ooh. Sat there with a little file and a lump of rock trying to curl <laughs> carve it into some sort of circular shape so I can put some teeth on it. Uh, Savage world we live in. We ran out of power. I'll be the coal for the power, right? Yes. Do you have we some on you? Some. Some, okay. All right. Just need this logistics so we can run some coal over that way. I'm boom, done. Boom. That was it. Where did that fanfare come from? Where, where's Where's the orchestra? <laughs> <laughs> it's in your helmet. Ah. There's some speakers. <laughs> <laughs> Something to do with the way we've been communicating, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, I don't know. I'm just running around in circles now. Got to keep fit as a captain. Got to got to keep your your peak physical performance on the go. You never know when red alert is going to get called and you need to run your way down to engineering because your chief science of uh, chief engineer has taken a uh, taken a fatal hit. Uh, <sighs> we can develop a splitter now. My my poor chief engineer. I'm, I'll miss him. <laughs> So, so what happened on the ship? I wasn't... Well, I, I was settling down for my evening bourbon, as you do, uh, and I got a, a message from the engineer so, saying something along the lines of someone had sneaked one of my bottles of finest whiskey into the warp core. Now, that was funny because I was there literally last night drinking a bottle of whiskey, and I didn't see anybody else there at all. So I'm not sure how that whiskey got there and fell over into the warp core, unfortunately causing a catastrophic failure, uh, which uh, brought down the, the ship's anti-gravity device uh thus bringing us down onto this planet as you know we we don't we don't orbit that's 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 how ancient people of old times used to do we, we now get our anti-grav device <laughs> to to do the work for us so a uh, highly advanced spaceship was brought down by a bottle of whiskey an unidentified un unknown bottle of whiskey yes mm. Someone must have stolen it from my quarters. It was the only way it could possibly work. Well, of course. <laughs> what other way is there possible to... Yeah, of course. Well, if we just look at all the facts, it is the only, only way that there must have been a stowaway on my ship. Would you believe it? No. I, in fact, I don't believe it, but we'll have to accept it as the only logical explanation. Actually, if the split is done, I'm going to take this off of here. Oh, is the lab in the way? Ooh. <laughs> uh, you could always just go one go. up. That's okay. <laughs> there we go. How many do I reckon I need? 50. I reckon I need 50. That's a good estimate. Military finished. Let's have a look. Uh, we have a gun now. Guns now. We do have guns now. Uh, but to be more, more defensive, I'm going to build some... Well, at least start researching some turrets. It's not, it's not technically the next one, but it's close enough. I think the game's just started playing U2 at me. <laughs> that, that guitar line is very, very much making me cringe. <laughs> so, now we need more uh, electric furnaces because the production of iron is currently not what it's supposed to be. Yeah, indeed. Indeed. But I think with basic resources, a serious coal line, power and a plan for copper we've probably done with this episode buddy uh, what do you mean episode sir <laughs> well with that i'm gonna say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure i will see you next time when we're gonna go around make more science and uh get get this old iron production on the go definitely definitely the problem i'll see you then when we're gonna do that bye bye it's captain twitchy signing off